Hey, what up everybody? It's J-Rock right here. Today I'm going to be hitting you with a fragrance haul. So I picked up a few fragrances. Um, this is going to be kind of like a first impression. See what I think about them. One of them, uh, that's not technically a first impression. I've, I've uh, tried these out a little bit ahead of time. But now I finally got one of them I just got in today. So that will be a legit first impression. I was waiting for this one to get here so I could just show the haul of all of them at once. The first one is... Uh, Arhamine Amber Oud Robe. It's a tester box. This is the fragrance itself. I like I like the bottle. Pretty cool. It's a 60 mil. These are not 100 mil. Heavy top. I like this one. It's red. I have the. Uh, uh, this is supposed to be a clone of Baccarat Rouge 540, and I have one that's a clone of Tobacco Vanilla, I believe, and that one is brown. So I like that this is the same, but then over here this changes. Look pretty cool. Okay, so I got this one. You know what? Let's go ahead and spray this one first. From the house. When I first spray, I get kind of almost an orange smell for like 10 seconds with that along with that alcohol. It's very quick, like 10 seconds, then it goes away. After that. You're left with like a clean sugar smell. Like um, some people compare it to cotton candy. I can see that. I, I can definitely see that. But yeah, it's just a sugar. Not like your cane sugar or anything. Just like um, sugar you would get in, in cookies or something. Along with a... Almost like a syrupy feel. Like get like a, a syrupy feel. Some, some of that sugar. And like a white floral. It's very soft. The floral part is very soft uh, on my skin at least. Alright, the second one, this is what I just picked up today. Was uh, Instant Crush by Mancera. I've been wanting to check this one out for a hot minute. Uh, finally, I found it at a price I found reasonable or, you know, that I was comfortable with. So yeah, let's check this one out. That's how long they come in these bags. I'm digging the bottle. There's some more Manceros I've seen that have this, like it goes from a gold tone to clear. i seen that there, there's a few other ones that have this same type of bottle. Alright, let's check this one out on this hand. I heard some people say this is supposed to be like a clone of Baccarat Rouge 540. I heard some people say, nah, it smells nothing like it. It, it very vaguely resembles it. I haven't smelled the real thing, so I have no idea. But we will see how these two compare to each other. Immediately, this one's a lot stronger than Mancera. So it's, as for most Manceras, I'm expecting good performance for it to, to last a good while. Alright, I'm going to check the notes on this. And I'm going to, from the notes, I'm going to read out loud the ones I can somewhat get. It, has, it says it has Madagascar Vanilla. I do get a sweet vanilla. Says it has sandalwood. I could get some sandalwood in here. Musk. I get a musky. I would say those are the the main things I get. Now I know those are completely different notes from what, what I said this other one feels like. The the amber rouge. I said that one smells syrupy and vanilla and sugary. So here I also get the vanilla and the sugary scent as well. But here I get some muskiness and some, um, they said it had, um, said it has white musk, sandalwood, and I'm looking at this, it says it has Sicilian mandarin. That's weird, because I didn't get the orange feel on this one, but on the amber rouge, I got that right away on the opening. It, it didn't last very long, but I got an orange feel right when I immediately went, right after I sprayed, I, I got that vibe. On this one, not so much. So I heard a lot of hype on BR540, everybody talking about how great it is. So initially I was just like, man, that shit sounds played out. I, I don't even want that. Everybody already has it. What's the point? And the more I heard about it, the more I'm just like, you know, let me let me try it. I kind of want to try it now just to see what all the hype is about, see if it's the real deal. And then I was like, that's oh, kind of expensive. Um, I don't really want to blind buy it because it goes for like $200 for like a 70 mil. So I was like, you know, so I was hesitant, 
So you know what? Let me go with a few clones. If I like the clone enough, the clone gives you a vague idea of what the real juice is going to smell like. So if I like it, I might go ahead and get the real thing. So I got these two, the Arhaman Rouge and the Instant Crush. I also had the Ariana Grande Cloud. Which that's the original one I was thinking about getting. But then I heard these were better options. And, and I am a fan of the Mancera fragrances in general. I like the price, the performance, uh, how much they give you. They give you 120 mils uh, per, uh, presentation. So, you know, I'm a fan of those in general. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get the Mancera one. Some people say it's a, a BR540 clone. Some people say, nah, it's, it's just its own thing. It, it doesn't smell anything like it. It, it vaguely resembles it. I, like I said, I have not smelled the real juice. So I cannot uh, comment on that. But... Smelling these two fragrances, um, Aventus gets a lot of hype as well. And that was another one I felt like, ah, do I really want to buy the real thing? Everybody already has it, so forth. Is, is that even niche anymore? That's mainstream, right? So I uh, decided against that as well. I bought a clone. I bought the Alharmain Laventure clone. I actually really like that fragrance. It's nice, performs well, and it is slightly different than anything else I have. So I enjoyed that one. Um, so I, I like the Arhai Mine uh, line. They do a lot of clones, but I do like them. They're at a, that's, to me, that uh, brand is what a clone should be. It should be similar to the real juice at a cheap affordable price, 30, 40 bucks. You know, when they say, oh, we got this clone for $150, I'm like, it costs the same as the real thing. To me, I have an issue with that because when they're charging you the same price as the real thing, to me, a clone is like, we're giving you a more affordable option for those of you that can't afford it we're giving you a similar scent dna right so that's to help people out i'm with that that's the spirit of, of what a clone is now when people are saying we got this clone and they're charging you the same price as the original or close to it at that point um to me that's just stealing the other person's idea and, and trying to make the same amount of money they're they're the heart of what a clone is supposed to be give it to you at an affordable price it's not there the intention is not there with with those higher priced ones so i'm kind of against that that's just my personal uh feelings towards that so these are you know where they should be They're a little cheaper and they cost a little less the quality is not there but you get a good idea of what the scent smells like so i like this house for that reason for those of you that care because i know that you got your br540 fan base you got your um aventus fan base my personal opinion, based on the two Alhar Mind clones, the Aventus clone and the BR540 clone, based on those two, I like the the Aventus one a lot more than this. The Aventus send DNA is a lot more to my liking than this. I find this simplistic, little basic. I don't see the hype. So I smell this one. This one's of better quality. But the same DNA is still very, very similar. They're almost the same. So I'm thinking the the OG is going to be a lot like this. It's not going to be much different because these two are not a lot different. There's some slight differences, but not a lot. So if the same DNA for that one is going to be like this, at $200 for 70 mil or whatever, I don't think this same DNA warrants that price tag at all. Uh, even this, I got it at around 100. I'm like, you know, it was okay. I'm happy with it, but... It's not anything that wowed me. I don't, I don't see the hype. Even the Aventus one, I kind of get it. I'm like, you know, I, I could see it. It's kind of interesting, yet still mass appealing. And if I'm going to drop that kind of money, or if I want an MFK, I'd honestly, I'd go with Grand Soyar. I think, I can't compare it to the OG because I haven't tried the original BR540, like I said. But I, I do own a bottle of the Grand Soyar. And uh, that's a really good fragrance. I feel that scent DNA in general, it's it's more worth that price tag to me. Than the, they're both expensive, but I would be a lot more happier dropping $200 on the Grand Soyar than this scent DNA of the BR540. To me personally, I think it's a lot more complex and it, it just, it's just more interesting and smells better to me than this type of scent DNA. If you're going for something like this, go get the Instant Crush or get some other, get a cheaper option. I wouldn't go with the, maybe I'll buy a decan, not because I'm even interested in it, 
just so I could compare it to see how close they are. But I'm really not even interested in, in that one at all, to be honest. All right, the next one is another tester from Salvador, Salvador Ferragamo. Another tester bottle here. This is from the Encanto line. I haven't seen much talk about these. The tester got no top. I'm digging the bottle though. You actually, the drawings on this side, but the front is here this way. So the drawings on the back and it faces through the front. It looks very cool, I'm digging it. They have pretty cool designs on these, so I might order a few more. Try to spray that one on my hand. Oh yeah, dude, this is... This is a fun fragrance. This one's called Bloom, Encanto Bloom. The Encanto line, I think it has like seven fragrances. Man, this one's really good. It's a fun fragrance, very bright, upli uplifting. It's not very uh, unique or anything like that. It's a fruity fragrance, very youthful. Someone in their 20s. Definitely feminine for sure. But it's nice, it's nice. Uh, I get um, kind of like a, see like a like watery rose. Get a watery rose in here. Maybe some, some type of fruit. It's a fruity floral. It's something um, we've all probably smelled similar stuff to this before. A lot of hairsprays and body mist that smell similar to this. Definitely mass appealing. Mass appealing fragrance for sure. I'm happy with this one. I think I, uh, I like it enough and they're at a cheap enough price where maybe I'll order a few more. Okay, let's go to the last one. I just got a message right now on the phone that uh, more of my packages just came in to the mail. So... So maybe I'll go stop by the, the post office and pick uh, this stuff up. Maybe, I don't know. It's kind of hot right now. I don't know if I want to go. I'm already in my sandals just chilling. Also, you know what I got this in? I put it, I put it away over here already. But I got this book. It's called Postal. For those of you Stephen King fans out there, this is reading by Hawkins and uh, Joe Hill. Joe Hill is Stephen King's son. You know, he doesn't want to use his dad's name. He wants to pave his own way, basically. So he goes by Joe Hill and uh, Hawkins. We're all familiar with Hawkins. I'm familiar with him, but I haven't... I don't think I've read anything, any of his work. Uh, Joe Hill, if you have Netflix, he wrote this uh, graphic novel, The Lock and Key. It's like a horror mystery type of thing. And on Netflix, it has a TV show now. A Netflix show. Haven't watched it yet, but... If you go ahead and check it out, then you have a vague idea of his work. So them two wrote this book called Postal, about someone just going psycho, have not read it, but it, it has a complete collection right here. So I'm kind of stoked for this one. I definitely do want to check it out. Follow my channel. Uh, you've probably seen this in the last few videos. I got this a few weeks ago. I just didn't want to show it or uh, because I wanted to get a few more fragrances in to do a, a haul. Is this one? Aqua Frost by Asaro. Here's the top. So yes, as you can see, the theme here is about a bunch of testers. You know, save a few bucks. Digging the frosty bottle. Very cool. This one's very fresh. The opening is very cold, invigorating. Digging it. Uh, the opening is much like the bottle looks. Very, very uh, like a refrigerator, basically. Uh, but the main note you're going to get here through and through is going to be a... Uh, a grape soda vibe at the beginning it's a cold frosted grapes but then after it turns into like a grape soda ish type of vibe it's not cold and frosty anymore but it's not like a fruity grape but like i said it's kind of like a soda grape but it's not it's not effervescent it's not like bubbly or anything like that it's but it's very nice it's clean it has a very clean smell to it and um it's a great one to wear in the for the summer that's coming up right now. I think this is one that will work for you. Well, that's all I got for you guys today for this video. So if you like what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more of the same, you already know what's up. Hit the subscribe button. That will keep you updated on my future content. All right, guys. I'll check you guys out later.